In this video, we'll see how you can get some of the Udacity Nano Degree programs for absolutely free of cost. So before we see that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, let kindly do that first. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon that appears after that. So you will get a notification whenever I upload a video like this. And you can also join our Telegram channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I'll give you all the link in description. Do check it out. So Udacity is a go-to platform for someone who wants to learn tech-related stuff. So they have a lot of things through which people are really developing their digital skills. Yes, it is true. They have a lot of good programs. Now you have an opportunity to get their nano degree program for absolutely free. Yes. Let me tell you how it is going to happen. It is through a scholarship. Yes. Now Bertelsmann company, which is a media company in uh, Germany has partnered with Udacity to provide next generation tech booster scholarship program. So let's see how this works first. So basically you'll be provided with three challenge tracks of uh, front end developer intro to cyber security and programming for data science with Python. So first step is when you apply for this uh, scholarship program, you have to select one out of these three tracks. So these three tracks are nothing but nano degree programs in Udacity. So if you see this programming for data science with Python, it's actually nano degree program in Udacity. It's an individual program. So that's the same for introduction to cybersecurity as well as for front end developer. So these are individual programs and you have to select one track associated with these nano degree programs and they are accepting 17,000 applicants for the phase one uh, of this scholarship program. Uh, so if you are selected, so the let me tell you why I'm telling here the word selected because even to get into this phase one, there is some criteria. So here it is. So if you go for the programming for data science track, it is here. So if you go for this programming, no, sorry, the data science programming track, it has no prerequisites. So which means if you go for this track, you will be automatically admitted into the phase one of the scholarship program. But in case if you go for the uh, intro to cyber security, uh, sorry, cyber security or uh, front end web developer track, there might be uh, some prerequisites and there might be some technical assessments for you in order to qualify for the phase one itself. So this is how it works. So once you get into the phase one, they will give you a, a challenge course. So you have to go through that course, which means you have to complete the lessons, videos, whatever it is that you have to learn from it. You have to complete the challenge course. And if you come in the top 500 uh, students from the challenge which you choose, you will be eligible to get a nano degree program for absolutely free through this uh, next generation uh, tech booster scholarship program. So it's simple, choose any one out of these three tracks and if there is any technical assessment, just complete it and hope that you'll be uh, getting into the phase one. And once you are in the phase one, you'll have to complete the challenge course. And if you are in the top performer, you'll get the nano degree scholarship. So that's it. It's very simple. This is how it works. And you might be looking for the eligibility criteria. So let me just cover that here. So there is nothing uh, too technical here, like I said, uh, you just need to uh, know English. So you should be English uh, speaking and you should be able to understand it because the language of instruction uh, throughout the program will be in, uh, throughout the program will be English and you must be 18 years or older than that to submit your application for this uh, scholarship program. And like I said earlier, there might be some technical assessment based on the track you choose. So in that case, you have to pass the technical assessment to get into the phase one itself. So uh, this is the basic eligibility criteria and there is no fees or anything of that sort for this uh, next generation tech booster program. It's a complete free scholarship program uh, which is offered in partnership of Udacity and Bertelsmann. So let's see how to apply for this uh, scholarship program. I'll just give you a link in description and you'll be landing on this page Udacity Bertelsmann technology scholarship program. And here if you just scroll down, uh, you can get all the details and how this program works and here are the important dates. So the last date to apply for this uh, scholarship program is November 28, 2022. And then by December 9th, 2022, if your scholarship program uh, application has been approved, uh, Udacity will notify you uh, about your admission through email. So just be careful with the email that you use for this entire process. 
uh, that is the only communication path so be clear with that so if you get into the scholarship program you will be notified regarding that on December 9th 2022 and by December 15th 2022 phase 1 challenge will begin which means you will get access to the uh, challenge course where you might learn some foundation concepts based on the track you choose and by February 13, 2023 you have to complete the uh, phase 1 that is the challenge course and based upon your performance you might get the nano degree scholarship and in case if you get that your phase 2 nano degree uh, scholarship program will sorry your phase 2 nano degree program will start on uh, March 16th 2023 and you will you might have around three months to complete the entire nano degree program by July 13th 2023 you have to complete the nano degree program and get your certificate and this is a complete online program all the process all your learning everything is online there is nothing related to offline here everything will be online so these are the important dates I'll just give the link in description so that you can go through it and get it clear and if you have any doubt you can just let me know in the comment section so like I said I'll just give you this link in description scroll down and click on this register here button and once you click on it you'll be directed to this page and here just click on this apply now button and you will be directed to a page like this so this is where you have to choose your uh, track so whether you're going to go for front-end developer or intro to cyber security or programming for data science with Python so you have to select that so now for example let me go with this programming for data science with python itself so i'll just click on this view full details so once you click on view few uh, sorry view full details uh, you'll be seeing a page like this so the first step here is to log in so just click on this login to continue and once you click on login to continue you will be directed to a sign up page like this so here just use your google account or facebook account to create your udacity account or else you can just fill in or uh, the basic details here and click on the sign up and create your Udacity account. So let me just log into my account and catch up after that. So now I have logged into my account. So let me just choose this uh, programming for data science with Python uh, track. So once you click on view full details, you might be seeing something like this. So just click on this questions and you'll be directed to the application page. So this is where we will be submitting our application. So just start filling the application here, but just give your basic details and answer the questions that they are asking here. And once you do everything, just scroll down on the page and this uh, finish and submit button will become available and you can just click on it and submit your application. So this is very simple process. And let me just show you for show you the application process for this front end developer. It's a bit different. So if I just click on view full details here again, I'll see questions. So if I just click on questions uh, here, you can see that uh, this is the same application page. But once you fill in all the details and everything, you have to move on to the tech assessment. So like I said, for uh, some track, you have to take the tech assessment uh, to get into the phase one itself. So this is how you have to apply for the program. So I hope you will be clear on this. And if you have any question, just let me know in the comment section, whether it is regarding the program or it is regarding the application process, just let me know if you have any doubts. And if you want to get more updates about online courses or learning scholarships like this, do subscribe to AnswersQ and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever I upload a video like this.